Get ready, dig your anger up, mob. That's what they say in the intro, and that's what's gonna have to happen right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the season finale of my season two walkthrough through a Mob Psycho 100. It has been a trip up until this point. Episode after episode jam-packed with just storyline development, character development, everything. And now we've reached this final point against Sho's father, Suzuki. I should probably call him by his actual name. And it's a real clash of titans between Mob and him because at this point, I still don't really understand how far Mob can go either. But then Suzuki Suzuki also claims he's still at like 10%. So who knows how far this is going to go. It might get nuclear, man. I'm not going to lie. We're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub and let's get into it. Right back into it. Like nothing's changed. Oh, he's pushing him to 20 already. We just started the episode. What does Suzuki look like at 100 though? I'm afraid. Look at his face. He's having fun. This is like the most emotion we've seen out of him in terms of like joy. My God! Nah, mob, not like that. No, he's not enjoying this. Wait, is he? Is mob smiling? <laughs> nah, I think it's more of like a, a, like a determination. Brother, what was that? His leg? What was that? What was the kickback from that? Jeez. Suzuki's excited because he found someone on his level. I think Mob is smiling. But then he sees his brother. He sees Ritsu and he's like, it, it grounds him again. I think he's starting to go wild with his power. He forgot he was here to like save them, to, to protect him. I feel guilty. Yeah. Wow, it was taking over him. I mean, the powers controlled him before, but this time it seemed like he let it. <laughs> this is the path you went down. Some people just unluckily end up evil. Good God. 50! Oh my God, what is 100, man? All you extras. It was compassion. That too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's showing the path Mob could have gone down. At least episode one Mob. I guess he kind of had Reagan. Oh. Because he feels bad. Because Suzuki could have been a regular person just like him. He could have gone down a good path. Mob is as empathetic as it comes. He genuinely was unlucky. But he had no one to sort of set him right. God, dude, the buildings. Oh my God, it's like planetary devastation. Nah, it's gonna build to 100% and that thing's gonna explode. <laughs> That's all he wants to be. Ritsu's worried about him. I like how everyone's here to witness this though. Watch what happened. I literally said a Saiyan, mind you. Well, this is as stressful as it comes. He's throwing him back to Earth. Oh. Oh, shoot. He's pissed. Don't let up, Mom. She's still holding her hand. So the big sister. If he doesn't, who will, Dimple? Well, he's going to push Mob to a level he hasn't gotten to before. Maybe Mob has the same as him. He's still conscious. Oh. He's not gonna push him to a new level. Mm. I mean, this has to end with someone defeating Suzuki or he'll just de destroy himself, maybe? Oh my god! Oh, his eyes are red now. Maybe it's like the darkness that he's like tapped into. Jesus! He's at 100. Suzuki is. Oh my God. Hearing Reagan. Oh. Protecting everyone. He won't die solely to be there for them. He was almost like ready to die for a second. What is he? A demon from hell? Fight on! Dude, I love when his eyes get that like, sp like special glow to them that they have right now. Oh my god, that's barely even Suzuki anymore. 
He's too much for his body to handle. Oh my god. So even I feel bad for him now. He's like a bomb. He's gonna blow. Contain it! Somehow! You can't get everybody out in time. Oh, Reagan's worried about him. He was told that there would be a nuke and Reagan's first like response was, you're bleeding. My goddamn heart. I feel bad for him. He was emotionally manipulated. He still has some tie to the president. Oh, he wanted to get them out of there. He has to kill him. <gasps> if he kills him, it'll stop it. It would, it would kill Mob! My boy has come so far. Suffer on your own. He'll take the pain with him. That's so beautiful. Oh, man. He forces everyone else that doesn't. Oh. I'm shocked Sho went down such a good path. And he lost the one that mattered most to him. Ah. Pushed her away. So then he just went, committed down, double down. To her. Sumami-chan! And they all realized the mob was still there. Maybe he still wanted to thank Reagan. Maybe he wanted to thank Devil. He, I mean, he wasn't ready to say goodbye to anybody. There's no way there's a... Okay, that was adorable. I'll excuse it. Ah! He's awake! Oh. Wait, did Suzuki like save him? What happened? His clothes are still like fine too. All of our wounds have been healed? Oh wait, yeah, so has his. What happened? What just happened? Did Suzuki like sacrifice himself? But like maybe he like switched like, a positive energy at the very end? This guy seems grim. Is he dream? Maybe he's dreaming. That's why they're all healed. Is that pl maybe it's plants? Wait, what? Yeah, what's going on? No, don't just cliffhanger me. Reagan looked like annoyed by whatever happened. Aww. Yeah, I was like, somebody give my boy a piggyback ride, man. Oh yeah, their house is gone. Is Reagan not gonna explain what happened? A spare tracksuit. What is ha what, what happened, man? Everything like, seems so reset. Why are you here? Came here to get some dumbbells, brother, at like 11 p.m. He called in the club! Bro, why do I feel like they all have like special like phones that only they have a line to? Three day, four night strengthening hell training camp? On a whim? We're really tired. <laughs> yes, actually, that sounds nice. <laughs> Fight on! Oh my god, the best characters in the show. Oh my god, poor Teru too. The fallout of everything. It's gotta be explained, right? Oh, it's like a giant tree. Wait, it is like a plant. Whoa, it's beautiful. Did he like... Is it broccoli? Looks like a, yeah, a vegetable. That's soup on me. Did, did he like manifest or something as a vegetable? <laughs> At least he's honest. Oh. No, the club! Why? I mean, I feel like that's inevitable with the world of Aspers. Anyways, I feel like if anything, they're doing good by, I don't know, trying to send people on the right path. They all just go their separate ways. There's no positive influence in the world. Or less of a positive influence in the world. Aww. Bro, find friends your own age, man. 
They're just going to like normal lives. Oh wait, the scars are gone? Oh, I didn't even realize it. Oh shoot. So everybody's every all the damage that Suzuki had caused was a reverse. Oh my god! All the pain he had caused is gone. Well, I mean emotional damage is still there, but like physical. Oh that wait, is that Suzuki's voice? Oh my god, he's alive! A research subject. What? Whose call is it to make? Yeah, but they still care about you, even though you never showed that to them. Well, that real to them. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! There's still a path for him. Even if it is one he never wanted, there's still some glimmer of hope. <laughs> That's really beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can't believe he lived. A mouse bit into some wires. New office! Let's go! This is hype. God, that would be so nice. I need some plants in here. Oh my gosh. It made the giant broccoli. The power is like, oh my gosh. This is a, an overwhelming amount of energy. <gasps> Serizawa. Is he working here? Yes! Let's go! Oh my heart! Come on, us. Give him a, a nice clean shave. Oh, his hair too! He looks great! Oh, dude, his character arc is so surprising, but I love it. We're gonna tell, teach you correct customer service, sir. <laughs> Mob is training him, and he will look up to him because he knows who Mob is. On the hell and back with him. Dude, Dimple just flying around with a little piece of hair on him. Dude, this is the giant broccoli. I can't. What an absolutely beautiful ending to the season. It's just the show wraps things up so well that it's almost like shocking how it does. And I've both praised and criticized Mob Psycho for how much it puts into each episode, but I thought that felt very natural. At least if they do end up explaining a, a little bit more about, I don't know, how he lived. Like, did he switch to a positive radiation, a positive energy at the very end? And that's why he exploded. But instead of destroying, it healed and whatnot. I, that's kind of my interpretation of it as for now. Maybe I need to go back and rewatch Watch the episode and kind of dissect it a little bit more but that's kind of my best idea now but now we have one more season of the show and i don't know where we go from here because i thought claw in the whole claw organization was going to be the overarching villain for both season two and three i know season three is known as like the end of the show and also mob has gotten to a place where i feel like he's very comfortable with himself and he's where he needs to be as a person at least mentally and that very final fight in this episode showed that he sat down with him ready to die so now maybe we take this new mob and we place him in scenarios where it really pushes him to his limits in terms of trying to do the right thing except over and over and over and over again and also yeah he still hasn't confessed his love to subami so waiting on that guys that's been it for episode 13 of our season 2 mob cycle 100 watch through uh there is also an ova in this season i don't know like how people feel about it should i watch it but nonetheless we'll be starting season 3 soon either way so i can see uh more of mob's journey that's been it though if you're new to the channel drop a sub and i'll catch you in the next one Peace, peace.